Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my nightmare. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Sorry I haven't been around uh, watching you guys' videos or posting up any videos. I've been kind of busy, not only working on the new computer system, but just overall life in general, just keeping busy doing other things too. So as you can see, I got everything up and running. And uh, yeah, that's my wallpaper, just going through some of the guitar uh, evolution of the electric guitar, yeah. Well, it's just kind of funny because they kind of post in the 2008 uh, Guitar Hero, Hero controller. That's, yeah. So the computer itself, getting it set up and everything else and transferring files wasn't that bad at all. The only problem I had was the audio interface. And this video hopefully will help out anybody else who has run into the problem with trying to use the IK products that uh, don't work with USB 3.0 and above. Alright, so hopefully this video helps out a lot of people who have ran into the same troubles that I've been running into with using USB 3.0 and devices that are USB 2.0 um, that aren't quite working together very well. And the XIO is one of these problems and the xio solo i believe is the same way a uh, bunch of issues something going on with ik multimedia that really didn't set up their drivers properly in order to correct this either new out of the box or um in my case swapping from one device to another device meaning swapping the audio interface to another computer so the XIO is a 2.0 audio interface that has the drivers and some stuff already pre-installed on it. So when you plug it in to your USB port, it should automatically upload certain stuff to your computer in order for the computer to find it without any problems through your USB ports. And then you will go to IK Multimedia and then download their product manager and then set up a username and password and you'll start from there as far as registering your unit and everything else, getting everything uh, up to date as far as firmware and any software updates that are needed as well. So plugging in the XIO into the back of the new PC, which has a 3.0, 3.1, 3 something like the 3.2 USB, regardless, 3.0, this would pop up under Device Manager. And the X IO programs or drivers would not install into the computer. So I jumped on IK Multimedia's forums just to see if I could find out any information that might have been brought up by other users to try to fix this solution, this problem. And it seems like the XIO Solo was having the same issues as the XIO. Now I did find some forums about the XIO and there really nothing came up just like the Solo. To fix this now there was a lot of people who had some good ideas and what to do of getting this to work with a USB 3.1 or 3.0 but uh, still people were having f problems with the interface and trying to get it to work correctly with the drivers now Sweetwater did have a little bit of a guide on how to work on this and trying to fix the solution um, which was good help and good reading it uh, as far as information goes of maybe what you can possibly have on another device as far as a problem goes but it really didn't help this problem so how did I go from this to this and having no troubles at all it was pretty simple so after several emails going back and forth with 
IK Multimedia's customer service, there was really no solution as far as trying to get this thing to work with the drivers. You could tell that customer service with uh, IK Multimedia were basically straight from the script, out of the book, whatever you want to call it. Copying and pasting information down into for the email that they sent me to kind of you know come up with a solution or a fix to get this thing up and going. No matter what they said to do, um, just didn't work. Their biggest thing was their biggest thing was basically getting not really the control panel to work, but their um, product manager, which wasn't a problem product manager would load up because uh, that was a separate file that you download from IK Multimedia. The problem was is the control panel which is installed on the unit itself would not load when you plugged it into the USB. Therefore, nothing would happen. Well, one of the questions that they asked me, which I kind of had scratched my head about and, and you know, it's like, yeah, you guys, this is your product. You guys really know what you're talking about. Was when the customer service asked me, are the lights powering up on the device when you plug it into the USB port on the back of your computer? Well, the XIO has a separate power supply. So, of course, it's going to power up when you flip the switch and plug it in. Uh, I don't know about the Solo if that one has a power source from the USB or not, but the XIO does not. Figured that these people would kind of know this, right? All right, so after I found out that IK Multimedia's custom, customer service was basically useless, uh, I started thinking about this more and more. It's like, well, all I really need is to get this thing up and going is the control panel software that is installed on the XIO. That's what I need to get this the ball rolling over here to where I can get the uh, uh, drivers and everything for this. So I went back to the laptop, and I didn't do any uninstalling, and I didn't reinstall Windows on it. I basically left it alone just in case I still had some more files that I had to transfer from one computer to another. So I went over to the local disk C, clicked on it, went over to program files, not the program files x86, I just wanted the regular program files, so I clicked on that. And I found the multimedia, I, IK multimedia folder. Clicked on that, and what do you know? Amplitude 5, the whole program file is in there. The XIO control panel, which is what you need to get the ball rolling with this, then in my custom shop, which which has some of my add-ons as far as uh, uh, different type of tones and stuff like that that I downloaded and pay for. And then you have your product manager, which the product manager you really don't need until the last. I don't know why that uh, IK Multimedia was really pushing the product manager. You know, try a different browser to install uh, the product managers. I use uh, Chrome and I use uh, Firefox. No matter what I would use to download it, I even downloaded it onto the laptop and then transferred it over to the PC using a thumb drive. Nothing would give me the control panel. So, control panels right here. Here is the executable file for the setup of the control panel. Under Amplitude 5, here is the executable for the setup for Amplitude 5. And there also is the product manager where here's the executable file for that. So what I ended up doing is I grabbed a thumb drive and I took the whole FOP folder for the IK Multimedia and copied it to a thumb drive, then installing that thumb drive onto the PC, copying those files over to the PC, and was able to was able to basically run everything from there. The file that I needed was the control panel. I ran that, disconnected the XIO from the back of the PC, ran the file, the executable file for the control panel. That gave me all my drivers. That got rid of everything that was going on uh, with the drivers as far as problems go and installed everything else from there. Plugged in the XIO, 
uh, the control panel worked. Everything uh, did my setup as far as the X uh, I O as far as uh, the software goes with the product manager. The product product manager has all of your files that you purchased, what you were running before, as long as you have a username and password and sign in correctly. All that stuff should show up under product manager. And from there, I was able to run my XIO with no problems, and everything is up and running now. Pretty simple, not very difficult, uh, just a pain in the ass. And I came multimedia's customer service really aren't all that bright when it comes to helping you out with some of their software and driver problems.